Welcome to another video by me. Um, this is not really a let's build, it's more like the building of the house that I'm gonna play with in my new challenge, the Wonder Child challenge. Uh, the thing is that I know that uh, not everyone is interested in seeing the building process and because of that a lot of let's players leave it out, but I've always liked to see it and so I've decided to basically give you a chance so everything, every time I'm doing a building part I'll probably do it like separately so that you can choose yourself if you want to see if I do it or not. So this is the building of the house. Uh, okay, so uh, <laughs> what I'm doing now is pretty confusing I guess, uh, but I, I decided that I don't want to play in a normal house but rather in well, I guess you can call it almost like a shoebox concept. Something between that and a dollhouse. Um, so basically what I did was just making sure that my plan worked, that it would actually be able to fit in all the stories. I'm not going to do all the stories now. Uh, I could, I guess, have done the whole house, which, it w which I like um, how it will be in the future and everything, but, you know, there's no point in that and I'm going to fix it later and I mean if, if I do change my mind as I play then I'm well th then I'll have to do it anyway so uh, what I did is the parts that I will have in the beginner house I guess where I start uh, so um, we will have the 22,000 that is the starting money when you have two people and uh, because of like the how it's gonna look in the end it looks quite weird now because I figured out that I will need the hallway because it's the entrance area and it will also have uh, the kitchen, their bedroom, a bathroom and also the living room basically because the living room is also like a hallway. Uh, here you see I'm working on the layout of the hallway. Uh, I'm kind of like wanting to get in a wardrobe there but it's just like shall I do it or not because it kind of covers up the stairs and it annoyed me a bit so was a bit short there and oh you also see a new pair of stairs there leading up to um well what i guess will be a third floor uh which will be actually the floor for the kid or kids but you know money isn't growing on trees especially not in the sims well it is if you do have <laughs> certain stuff it packs in other games but uh, it doesn't do it now so yeah I decided to just leave that one out I don't remember if I actually kept that wall I know I removed the stairs uh, but I think I actually kept the wall at least like a little part of it just to kind of signalize that this is gonna be something oh and yeah I um, I got annoyed by the stairs it didn't look right with a the fence there so and then I ended up Basically, I guess you can see stealing, stealing a little space from the kitchen there, but it's gonna be quite a little kitchen, I guess. Totally functional, but not that big, so I guess it's gonna be all right anyway. Um, with flooring um, and I, basically everything in the house, I tried to go for some of the cheapest stuff. I mean, for the the wallpaper here, it's just fine because I do love that wall wallpaper. It has so many colors and it basically fits every kind of home you have. If you have like a modern one or an old style one. So trying to do the colors here, I was kind of like, should I have those two rooms as kind of an open room or not? And I ended up with that in the end. The kitchen here, yeah. Um, I love having a contrast wall. So I was like, should I put uh, like the... A dark wall there in the background should be black and I was like no that is way way too dark and I was bickering back and forward a little bit because I tried to find something I guess those white ones with like a clear top would be the best ones but I didn't like the colors and I think this oh yeah this is the part where I find it's, it's a green one I think which is I think it'll be you know, the brown one there. I'm like totally in love with it and I, I didn't even know what to do but uh, I'm gonna have a dining room later on the other side of the hallway and I'm pretty sure I'm gonna use that one there because it was just so 
yeah, so perfect for what I feel about this family. Uh, by the way, if you don't know the family I'm gonna use here, then I'll I guess I'll put a link down below in the description um, because because I did also record the create a sim of, uh, of the parents. And oh yeah, here is the is the garden because it is a, it's the shoebox principle. You don't really have like. The whole use of the whole garden so it's more like a separate room or a little space and it will be really fun i think so um, <laughs> here's the, the the big problem with the doors it's like which door to choose and also trying to find a door frame that will match and all things yeah i i also wanted to keep this one because uh, on the one side the like the upper part of the kitchen i guess you could say well, I'm actually like a little unsure now because I've been thinking about it, but it's gonna be it's gonna be a room there, probably a, either a hobby room or a party room. It depends, I guess, on what happens as I play on. Uh, and yeah, as you see, I removed the um, the front walls, or basically replaced them with smaller ones, which makes it you're able to look in and this is basically the concept of it so that you can actually play while like having the camera focused on the, the the upper floor but you can still see what's going on so the house is gonna end up with four floors so you can basically have the focus on the attic and still be able to see everything that goes on in the whole house uh, I haven't actually played like this with more than one sim which I do in my current household now and nothing much have happened there actually so I'm I'm really looking forward to trying this out. Uh, I was kind of unsure what to do about the bathroom here um, the colors are I wanted to do something fun with the colors but I still didn't want it to be like total turquoise or green or something because the family is old like they are kind of modern but they're still also kind of classic I guess and that also reflects in you know what I mentioned earlier with uh, the dining room that will come oh yeah and here I was like mm, you know what you know what uh, there's no uh, reason for me to look into the bathroom and I don't know why I didn't think about it before uh, but I basically ended up putting it backwards so that it would get more space and also I think it looks a lot better like this so, oh yeah, and the bathroom is the only kind of room that will actually have a full wall. And I think that, I don't know, I don't think the, the half walls actually give you the privacy you need to use the bathroom. And also, you know, <laughs> are you planning to stalk the sims around the toilet? I don't know. So yeah, those are the only hidden rooms, I guess. Um... I don't know what I'm working on here. Oh yeah, this is actually, I, I took a break here because I was gonna eat breakfast. And as I was eating, I was just suddenly like, <gasps> I realized that I had forgotten to put in the windows and I was actually happy about how much money I had left and you know, it would be enough money. And then I'm like, windows. Uh, so it was a bit of like a panic and I ran upstairs, but Luckily, the windows didn't cost too much, and also I realize uh, now that um, those windows there in, in the bedroom, the green, yeah, the green one there is the bedroom. Uh, I'm not gonna have. Oh, I did. I okay. I moved them to the back. Okay. I thought I had them on the side, and on the side there, I'm gonna. Um, I'm gonna either have a room there, a small room, or I'm gonna make it a balcony. I'm gonna have a balcony on top of the garden part, but I'm a bit unsure on the other one. And here I save because my sim crashed the other day and I didn't want that to happen again, so I'm saving. Saving, saving, saving. Mm, but yeah, this is basically how the layout ends up as... Oh no, I do a big change. Oh, and here I basically pull off the typical uh, grab everything that you need and then afterward replace, replace them with actual stuff that you want. So I just made sure that they had everything that they needed to live there, like a sink, a toilet, a shower, a bed, and <laughs> well, only one chair because, you know, they can they can share the, sh the chair, I guess. 
and also uh, yeah I was gonna do the same thing with the kitchen but uh, kitchens are one of the rooms that I always basically splash out on um, so I started there getting a good fridge and stuff but I, I did not take the kitchen benches that I originally wanted um, because you know they don't it doesn't mean anything if they're cheap or not so yeah just moving stuff to where they're meant to be but yeah here I started to do the actual money things uh, I was a bit unsure what to do about the bed because um, the colors were like I don't know uh, I feel that um, the woman would probably have it be more styleful, but I don't didn't want everything to be totally pale and stuff. Oh, uh, <laughs> I actually forgot, but uh, here is the fireplace area, and I was gonna have the wall there be of bricks. And I'm probably gonna fix that uh, in my first let's play part, to be honest, uh, because um, I, I chose to have the fireplace there from the beginning of because. I mean, there is one thing to buy a new set of furniture and stuff, but there is a big, big investment to, like, just make a new fireplace. It does take a lot of money and time, and it's also difficult to do, I think. Like, you know, it takes a lot of work to do that. So I figured out that, you know, that one is there from, from uh, when they buy it. Um, so, yeah. Um, the thing is that uh, when I build, I usually have a lot of clutter around, like I love, I think I maybe have the knife there, I'm unsure. Mm, oh yeah, here I try to put it uh, almost into the wall because I don't like those uh, back parts there that, ugh, no, I don't like it and especially if you have them underneath the windows because they are well it mostly works fine but they can also like mix in with the frame of the window and it's irritating uh, I try not to turn on the move objects on but I think that in the end I actually turn it on I'm a little unsure actually um, maybe <laughs> try to get the right thing and yeah here I was like oh screw this and <laughs> just put it in and like yeah that looks fine I guess uh, what happened there I don't know oh yeah I I think I took another break or something uh, I decided to go in with lights which I hadn't actually thought about oh yeah I did have like the old lights but this is like me placing the actual lights I'm gonna use uh, for the bedroom I have only one but I mean the bedroom is a place where you only sleep I mean it's not like there's a desk or anything there so it will be fine with just that little one um, I kept the beamer I think for the rest of the rooms and this is <laughs> where I try to get as much stuff as possible like uh, for instance I was thinking about getting an easel but I was like meh and it was like so fun like should I take a blue one or something that popped I liked the orange one but then I like was a little unsure again and I think this is the point where I realized that I need oh yeah first of all a TV but also like a smoke alarm and I'm like oh I don't have the money and I end up selling the, the TV <laughs> oh and yeah I tried to put it like on top of there but yeah, I think it was when I it was something I did, and then then it got back into my inventory, and I'm like, you know what? Uh, this house is like for the future of the house. So you know what? The kitchen is gonna be in the focus area. Um, the dad, for those that haven't seen the info video, he is gonna be the one that goes to work and stuff, and that's basically what he is interested in. He likes going to work, and. Uh, he likes his career. He's a scientist, so yeah, he doesn't really care about much, I guess. That doesn't really sound meaningful, but yeah. Uh, I did place a roof here. It's not 
like I really need it because I am gonna add more stories later but I thought that you know just for now I might as well add it there uh, oh yeah this this is the time where I realized that I don't have money so this is where why the the sofa is suddenly sold I also tried to put a roof there but mm, no it didn't work first of all it didn't look good at all and also it kind of blocked the view which actually was the point of this thing um, I try here to do a little more stuff I do think about a coffee maker that it will be something that would be natural for me to have for in the house I feel uh, but it did cost too much and I did do this instead I think this is it. Oh yeah, and the only thing that um, I thought of later was that of course it works now, but later you would have to go around the whole property to get to the door. Um, so I basically ended up removing the tiny wall there and replace it with one of those fences that I, I wasn't sure if it was an actual fence or if it was something else. Um, I think this is that is what I try now. Um, but basically, I just tested if what people would do, and I noticed that okay, they will just walk straight in, and I'm like, you know what, that doesn't really matter. The so the the I guess the the entrance door is basically more for show than anything else, and. Then I didn't really know what happened here. Uh, the stairs suddenly moved by themselves uh, for some reason, and I just have to fix that. But I guess that is all. I did. Oh, I did fix a mirror because uh, uh, one of the skills of the dad is gonna be charisma. But yeah, that is all for now. I hope you enjoyed this view and that you look forward to the let's play. It will probably be up this week and. Please like and subscribe and tell me what you think of it and also what expecta expectations you have for the Let's Play. So with that in mind, I wish you all a very happy new year and that you are all well and I'll see you soon. Bye!